Hi, I'm Eric with Home Network Central, and I'm going to show you how to reset your D-Link router to factory default settings. Uh, you may not have this exact model, but they all basically work the same. So if you don't have the same model, the same instructions will probably help you out. What this process is going to do is reset all the passwords and all the settings on the router so it is just like it is when you buy it new from the store and take it out of the box for the first time. And then the information that you'll need once you reset it to get into the router and make configurations is all on the bottom. So the first thing you want to do is plug it into power. So I'm going to plug it in. And you also want to make sure the power button is on. This this router has a power button right next to the where you plug it in the power. So this one's on, I know, because the LEDs are on. So if your LEDs aren't on, just make sure it's you have a good power source and also make sure your power's on. So when this thing boots up, I'm just going to give it a couple seconds and let it do whatever it's got to do. And okay, I'm done waiting. So what you want to do is find a button. There's a button on here that is labeled reset. Sometimes, depending on your model, it might be in the back where all the other stuff is. And on this one, is a little bit kind of hidden, but it's right in the center right here. It says reset. There's a button. They make it purposely difficult for you to press the button with your finger so you can't accidentally press it because it resets all the settings. You never get it back unless you go in there and re- uh, configure it. So you want to get a sharp object to push that button in. You can use a pen like this and you could press the button in like that or for example you can use a paper clip. I've got a metal shower curtain hook that I just deformed that I can press in there. I'm going to show you. I'm going to lean up my camera here so I can use two hands and show you what I'm doing here. So the router is on, and I'm going to go ahead and on the back here, so you can see, I'm going to press in the button. I'm not going to do it right now, I'm, I'm just going to show you, um, for example, and then I'll, but I'm going to press that button in, I'm going to hold it in, and I'll show you the lights when I do that. So I'm going to go ahead and plug, or I'm going to press that button, starting now. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010. Once I reach 10, I let go of the button and you just give it a few seconds. Watch the the lights on the front. They'll start changing. That means it which means it worked. Just got to wait a few seconds. There we go. Now you start to see the lights are changing. It's going through this little process here. Basically the router is just rebooting and going back to default settings. It's taking off all the passwords. And again, all the settings you'll need to get in the router are the settings that are written on the bottom. Or it might be on the box. Or this one came with a Wi-Fi configuration card. So it'll be on there if you have that. So if that helped you out, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.